You might not want to watch this video if you don't want to see me kill some bees, but it's for the good of the bees, and I'd like to explain. Wow, wow. That's gotta be a couple thousand. And that's just what fell off the bees. I have no idea if that's what was inside the cells too. And I didn't think I had a heavy mite load. Yikes. So if you're new to the channel, if you don't know what Varroa are, you can look up at this video here. I'm gonna link up here. Varroa mites are like the single biggest problem that beekeepers face right now. Unless you live in Australia where there's no Varroa yet. But it's the thing that beekeepers need to manage. It's the thing that beekeepers need to worry about when they have multiple hives or any hives and they want to get those hives to live through a winter. When I first started beekeeping, I was under the impression that treatment-free beekeeping was, was a thing that, that I'd be able to do. I, I learned very quickly that that, uh, that, is, that is not the case. And I am of the opinion that you need to test and treat for mites. A lot of people have very different opinions on this. In my first year on the channel, I had a lot of people who really hated the idea that I treated my bees that first year. And I did it and uh, I killed a lot of mites. I needed to treat my bees. Those bees the first year did not make it over the winter. Subsequent treatments though have helped my hive survive the winter. Balboa, for one, is a hive that has now made it through two winters and has been treated both winters for Varroa. The treatment I used on Balboa so far has been Apivar strips and I really like the Apivar. I have used the Mite Away Quick strips for other hives. Now this could just be a coincidence but as far as treatment goes, both hives I treated with quick strips died over the winter, and every hive I've treated with Apivar has survived the winter. Could be a coincidence. I'm not making any judgment here. I'm just telling you what's happened with me. So treatment aside, what every beekeeper should be doing is testing for mites so that they know if they have a problem, and if they do have a problem, how big the problem is. So today I'm going to be testing my bees to see what the mite levels are in the big hives. So testing brings us to a whole other level of controversy and opinion and debate, which I'm sure we're gonna see in the comments. There are non-lethal ways you can test your bees. I personally don't believe those ways give accurate readings of mite levels. Now, I believe that the most efficient way and the most humane way and the most accurate way to get a mite level count in your hive is to do a alcohol kill test with two or 300 bees per hive and then count the mites that fall off of the bees. You can shake your bees in sugar, you can, you can drop sugar into the hive, you can do all kinds of things with sugar which won't really kill bees. Um, I don't believe it gives you an accurate count. I've talked to a lot of professional beekeepers who don't like the sugar method. A lot of people do like the sugar method, but I don't believe that those people are getting accurate counts of the mite levels. So I've chosen to do an alcohol kill test. And this is my reasoning. As a beekeeper, I've come to not see hives as a bunch of individual bees hanging out in a box, but rather each colony is a living organism. It's, it's a unit. It, it's working together as a unit to, to survive and to propagate that colony. The bees all work as one to protect that hive, to propagate that hive, and any individual bee in that hive would give its life to protect that hive. You see this every time you go to do an inspection and the guard bees fly out at the inspector and they sting. And every time one bee stings, that bee dies. But that bee is trying to protect the hive. It's giving its life to protect the hive. Now, when you think about Varroa, uh, the, the Varroa can kill a whole colony. So I believe that killing two or 300 bees to test for Varroa and potentially save a hive to make a hive live through the winter and protect that hive is a very small price to pay to save the hive. So when you think about any bee in that hive would give their life to protect the hive, I'm gonna take two or 300 bees out of that hive and I'm gonna kill them and I'm gonna count the mites that fall off of those bees and I will know whether that hive is okay or not. And if it is okay, then those bees sacrifice themselves, the hive is fine. If we find high levels of Varroa and that hive needs to be treated, those bees gave their lives to save the hive. So that's my mindset. That's why I've chosen to go this route. So this is what I'm gonna to use to do my test. I wanna shout out to my friend Brandon over at Brandon's Bees. 
he did a whole video about this. But basically, you put your bees in the basket. I'm going to put rubbing alcohol in here and kill the bees instantly, humanely. They're not going to suffer. I'm going to shake them up, and the mites are going to fall out here, and I will get an accurate count of the mite load on a number of bees, and then I can get a percentage of the mites in the hive. You don't have to watch if you don't want to. But thanks for listening to my spiel. So the way this thing works is there's lines in this cup to tell you how many bees go in here. There's two lines. So we're only talking about that many bees. 200 bees, okay? I take no pleasure in doing this. This is for the good of the hive. I got a bucket I'm gonna shake bees into. So that's a frame of capped brood. These should be all nurse bees. And I'm gonna shake them right in this box. All right, bees, sorry about this. Putting the alcohol into this. Okay, they're dead. Now you want to dislodge the mites from the bees. All right, I've been shaking for more than a minute. Okay, I'm pretty sure I did this right. Vigorously shook. Zero mites, dudes. Zero. Balboa. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I feel a little bit guilty for, for killing a couple hundred bees, you know, that many bees in the bottom of this the screen here, but there are no mites. Let's try the new package hive. Okay, take my sample. I need a couple more bees in here. Is it possible to have a mite-free bee yard? Okay guys, there's no mites. There's literally no mites. Zero mites. Time to check the Russians. All right, I think this is the frame I'm gonna shake. Make sure I don't see a queen in here. over instantly folks they're instantly gone one might I see one might one little red mite all right what did we learn today we learned that out of this whole bee yard I saw one I only tested the three big hives because all of my nukes came out of the big hives. So if I had big mite loads in the big, the big hives, I'd worry about the small ones. The other thing is the nukes have gone through uh, a stop in the brood cycle. So the, there's no, for a period of time, there's no queen laying eggs. So that means any varroa that are in there are not gonna be going into cells and getting capped and all that stuff. So uh, the, the, the mite loads have to be even lower in the nukes. So I'm not really worried about the nukes right now. I am worried about the big hives well, I was worried about the big hives. I'm definitely not worried about the big hives right now. It is July 8th. I'm gonna check again in one month, which will be right before our flow season. So I think we're in pretty good shape for July. I mean, 
One mite out of three big hives. Single mite. So one month from now, we'll do this again, um, and we'll give a better idea of if how, how high things have gotten, if the mite levels grew. Then we'll have our flow, and as soon as the flow is over, I'll, treat, I'll test one more time, and then treat if necessary. I highly recommend shaking into a bucket and then pouring the bees into your cup. Doing the whole like move the cup and scoop off of a frame just just gonna piss off bees. So this is the way to go. Bucket, shake and pour right into a cup. That's how I do it. So this is not a sponsored video. I bought this product. It's called the Easy Check. It's 20 bucks. I'll put a link in the description. You can buy it there. Thank you very much for watching and test your bees. Treat your bees. We gotta stop the Varroa. Special frame for them to draw a drone size comb and then hopefully lay this with a bunch of drones which will possibly attract any Varroa that's in the hive.